And while it won't rain on our parade of planets, we could be talking about some fog as we go into our Friday morning here. We do have Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn all aligned here. You can catch it in the southeastern sky, and you want to make sure you look right before sunrise. Now, the good news is you just need your naked eyes to view this. No binoculars needed. The bad news is we do have light fog around early on Friday morning here. Notice where it's densest or where the visibility is lowest inland not by much but still it will be a little denser inland than at the shore so maybe the shore is your best bet if you want to make the drive over or if you're already at the shore otherwise i would still give it a shot again it's light fog not dense but the reason why the inland spots are seeing that denser fog is because of this graphic here we saw rain there earlier today on thursday and when you combine that low level moisture with high humidity well you do get that fog now the the dew points will be low as we go into our Friday, Saturday, and Sunday here. It's going to be a spectacular weekend here across the area. It does turn humid for a little bit on Monday, then we fall back down. High pressure is large and in charge for the weekend here. It will be based in the southeastern United States, moving our way as we go into our Sunday. we got another area of high pressure out over in the western part of the United States that will develop as well. Taking a look at our forecast radar, well, we're in for a good one Thursday night. Just those areas of fog around, but nothing in the way of real rain, I don't believe. I don't think that stuff near Hamilton makes it into our area. Friday is going to be a mostly sunny day, a few pop-up afternoon clouds. Beautiful Friday night, clear skies, some areas of fog early on Saturday morning, not that widespread. Saturday itself is going to be mostly sunny for us here. This is now midnight on Sunday, not a cloud in sight. And now continuing to most of our Sunday here, some higher clouds do try to work in as we go into our Sunday afternoon. For tonight, low temperatures will be right around 60 degrees, some fog after midnight on northeast wind. Friday itself, temperatures... You know, they'll peak around 80 degrees inland sometime between 1 to 5 p.m. over at the coast. It'll actually peak in the mid-70s. But the theme is it's going to be comfortable, and we're going to have a good amount of sunshine as well. Your melting forecast for Friday. Maybe you want some ice cream on Friday. Celebrate the end of the work week here. A few drips of ice cream on your cone, but I think you'll be able to enjoy it without having to run your face around the cone, making sure you... Uh, those strips of ice cream doesn't run down your hand here. Here's a look at our Friday night forecast. Clear sky all around, southwesterly winds. And then for our inland seven-day forecast, 80s for Saturday and Sunday here. It's not going to be a very humid weekend again. So 89 is not going to be all that bad. As we often say during the summer, it's not the heat. It's the humidity here over at our shore. Seven days, 74 on Friday, 80 on Saturday, 79 on Sunday. Should be our first A in our shore summer weekend report card. And even next week, looking very nice as well. We do have to watch for that severe weather on Monday, but that's the only blip in this forecast. For the latest in South Jersey weather, you can find me on social media or as always, come back to our website, pressofac.com slash weather.